Hey guys, welcome back to a new series, and I know many of you have been eagerly waiting for this. Everywhere on YouTube you can learn the theory about Android stuff, and that is important, but only knowing theory won't give you the ability to actually put everything together and make a real app that uses all of those good practices such as MVVM, navigation components, um, coroutines, retrofit, room, and so on, you get what I mean. So I thought it would be really helpful for you that I show you how to make an app that actually fetches current news like this app here you can see we have a tab breaking news with all the breaking news available from that api it has a beautiful pagination so it doesn't load all the news at once if we scroll down then it loads more then we, ha we have a tab for safe news so if we have an article that we want to save to our device then we can do that that will be saved in a room database and if we don't want it anymore then we can simply swipe it away successfully deleted article and we can also undo it if we decide to not delete it. And you can see that I also added a tab for searching news so we can search news in that whole API. So basically all available news, for example, Corona. And then you can see we get all news regarding Corona. You can also see the pagination again. If we scroll down until the page is over, then it will automatically load new news like that. You saw that little um, progress bar, if we go down, progress by again and again and so on it basically works perfectly fine and you can also notice when I search for something that it does not search immediately for that term because then we would just make too many requests at once and if I delete it here then there's also a little delay so it waits for us until we actually type what we want to type so if I type corona again then little delay and then it searches and if we decide to save one of these articles, then we can click on that. It will open in a web view. We can read it. We can read the whole, the whole article there. And I also added a little floating action button to add it to our database. So if we click on that, article saved successfully. If we go on saved news, you can see our article appears here. So which best practices will we actually use in that app here? We will use MVVM architecture, which just gives your app a very clean architecture. Then the whole app's navigation will be set up with navigation components. We will use coroutines in combination with room and retrofit. And actually, I also thought about using dependency injection with Dagger. And even though that is something that belongs to a professional app, I decided against it because Dagger is a super hard topic and using it in this project would just totally confuse and overwhelm anybody who hasn't worked with it before. So what do you have to know before watching this series? I assume that you understand Android basics such as creating layouts because I won't show you how I made the layout. Instead, you will get the XML codes for that from my GitHub repository because this is not the focus of this course and you should know how to do that. Then you should also have a rough understanding of MVVM. Um, you don't need to be able to implement it on your own in your app but you should at least know what it is and why you should use it. If you don't know that, I have a video about that, so don't worry. And what you should also have is a basic understanding of coroutines because we will use those in combination with retrofit and room. And if you don't have that basic understanding, then you can just watch my just finished up to date series about that. And what you don't need to know is retrofit room and navigation components. I will explain all of that for people who have never worked with that before. So what do you need to do before starting the series? First of all, we will use the news API from newsapi.org. I will also put that link in this video's description. And here you have that option to get an API key, that big blue button here. Just click on that button, create an account for free. And then you have that API key, which gives you access to all that available news. If you've done that, then you can click on the other link in this video's description to get to my GitHub repository. This is basically the initial project. In this project, I included all XML layouts, all animation files, icons, and dependencies we need. So you don't need to waste time writing all that trivial stuff by yourself. And also many download this project from GitHub by choosing the zip option here. They click on clone or download, and then they download the zip and open that in Android Studio. But it's actually easier to just copy that link of GitHub here, go to Android Studio, create a new project, click on new, and now you click on project from version control, click on git, and here you can paste that URL 
and you can directly import that GitHub project into Android Studio. That is, in my opinion, much easier to do. And to finish this off, I will quickly go through all the dependencies we have here so we get a rough understanding of that. First of all, we have the architectural components, of course, which just gives us access to the components we need for MVVM architecture, so the view model, for example, and live data and all that stuff. Then we have the dependencies for Room, which we will use for our local database. Then we have coroutine extensions for Room, so basically that we can use coroutines in combination with Room. We have the dependencies for coroutines in general. We have coroutine lifecycle scopes, for example, the view model scope that we will use here. Then the retrofit dependencies to make those API calls. And I also included a dependency for a logging interceptor, which will allow us to basically debug our API requests. Then we have a dependency for navigation components. So just to set up our navigation very easily. And finally, dependencies for Glide to load the images from the API. So if you set it up like that, then you're good to go. And in the next video, we can start to write our code. If you like this video and this was helpful for you, please leave a like and comment below. And also let me know if there is anything I can improve on. Have a good day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.